Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Macrolide Antibiotics Medicinal Chemistry Aspects. In this video, I will explain the mechanism and spectrum of macrolide antibiotics, their chemistry, structure activity relationship, side effects and clinical uses. This is my YouTube channel. If you like the video content, do subscribe and share. Let's start. Now, macrolides, they are a class of antibiotics and they treat a wide range of infections caused by gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Now these macrolide antibiotics, they are derived from Streptomyces erythraeus, Streptomyces erythraea class. Now it is a type of soil bacteria from which all these macrolide antibiotics are isolated. Now the main important uh, drugs in this class are erythromycin, azithromycin and clarithromycin. They can be taken orally to treat mild to moderate bacterial infections like respiratory, gastrointestinal and genitourinary infections. Especially it is used to treat upper respiratory tract infections. Now, uh, the other important is clinical uses are it is used to treat Bordetella pertussis causing oofing cough and it is used to treat typical and atypical pneumonia. These are classed by Mycoplasma pneumoniae or Legionella species bacteria. Now, how do they act? When you see the mechanism of action, these are protein synthesis inhibitors. They bind with 50S ribosomal unit and inhibit protein synthesis of bacteria. By inhibiting protein synthesis, they exert their bacteriostatic effect and they stop bacterial growth. They can be taken orally or intravenous drugs are also available. Now, this is what is the structure of erythromycin. Now, the, the reason why they have got the name macrolide is because of this big ring. This ring is made up of 14 atoms. And, and, and this 14 atom ring has got this particular functional group which is known as a lactone. Lactone means cyclic esters. COOR is ester. When it is cyclic, it is called as lactones. Now, along with this lactone ring, it is glycosidically linked to an amine sugar and a neutral sugar. So, in brief, when you see macrolides, it has got a big ring which is made up of 14 atoms and an amine sugar which is linked glycosidically with this lactone ring and a neutral sugar which is also linked with glycosidically with this lactone ring. Now, there is a difference between uh, erythromycin and clarithromycin and the difference comes with the substitution of this group. If OH is substituted with OCH3, it becomes clarithromycin. Look at this. Clarithromycin has got the same thing. A 14 atom made a big ring because of which it has got the name macro, macrolide and an amine containing sugar and a neutral sugar. Both of them are linked with this glycosidic bonds. Now, <coughs> The structural activity relationship when a, a carbon atom is replaced with a nit nitrogen, it becomes azithromycin. Macrolide, azolide. So, azolide, this azithromycin also has got a, a amine sugar as well as a neutral sugar. Both of them are linked to glycosidic bond. The other difference is this big ring is made up of 15 atoms. In case of erythro and clarithro, it is 14 atoms, whereas azithromycin is made up of 15 atoms. So, this is the structural aspects. Getting into the details, so they have three common chemical characteristics, a large non-polar strainless ring, a ketone group, a glycosidically ring, amino sugar. See, we have seen 14 and 15 membered rings, the other uh, antibiotics also contains 12 and 16 atoms. One. Now, they have a neutral sugar as well as an amino sugar, both of them are glycosidically linked. This is what we have seen in the chemistry of structures. Let us look at structural activity relationship. See, macrolides are unstable to acidic pH. So, there are uh, there are lot of uh, strategies are used to improve that acid resistance. Uh, one of the major one is enteric coated tablets. When enteric coated tablets are given, they, will, they are resistant to acidic pH and the erythromycin will get released only in intestine but not in stomach. Now, the addition of hydroxyl amine to the ketone group forms pharmoxime, which is nothing but roxithromycin. Now, C6 hydroxy is what is the pathway of erythromycin degradation. Now, the azolides, uh, as we have seen, the azithromycin is a semi synthetic 15 membered consignor in which nitrogen atom is introduced, and that has resulted in extended spectrum of action. So, addition of nitrogen increases spectrum of activity. So, macular antibiotics like erythromycin, azithro, clarithro has got specific clinical uses. 
Azithromycin can be used to treat sexually transmitted infections caused by chlamydia and syphilis. And clarithromycin is used with amoxicillin like used with uh, antibiotic amoxicillin and omeprazole to treat helicobacter pyroli caused peptic ulcer infection. So these are all the major uses of macrolide antibiotics. Now side effects, see the macrolide stimulates motilin receptor and causes gastrointestinal distress. Erythromycin azithromycin has got more propensity to cause gastrointestinal disturbances. Now macrolide also causes reversible deafness at high doses. Now understand this, this ototoxicity is also seen with aminoglycosides, loop diuretics. So when macrolides are used along with this, synergistically they cause increase in ototoxicity. Care must be taken. And they also show QT interval increase, which will affect cardiovascular uh, pro which will cause cardiovascular problems. So this is about macrolide antibiotics. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and share.